Okay, this topic I did previously record so you can see the answers here, but I am going to go ahead and re-explain why these are the answers um, using my images and using my colored pins. Um, you can see that I've erased quite a bit on here just because I wanted to start fresh. Um, so the first thing is to be able to determine whether or not a graph is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. You have to think of the x-axis as a mirror, okay? And so then what you're going to do is you're going to reflect this graph over that mirror, the x-axis. So what that means is the x-axis separates the graph between the top and the bottom, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top part and reflect it downward so that it looks like this. Then I'm going to take what's below the x-axis and flip it upward so that it looks like this. And then to be able to decide whether or not it's symmetric with respect to the x-axis, you ask yourself, is the graph that I envisioned or that I physically drew land on top of the original graph? And the pink graph, the reflected graph, does not land on the original um, black or blue whatever color that is graph okay so because it does not land on the original graph this one is not symmetric with respect to the x-axis okay now if I go look at B if I imagine the x-axis so I take what is on top and I reflect it over so it becomes this and if I take what is at the bottom and reflect it over it becomes this now does my pink graph land on top of the original graph? Yes, it does. So this one is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Now if I do the same thing for part C, so I take what is on top and I flip it downward, what is on top here, flip it downward, and then what is on bottom, flip it upward, and what is on the bottom, flip it upward, we get this graph. Does the pink one, the one I drew, or the one that I visualized, does it land on top of the original graph? No, it does not. So this one is not symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Now we go on to the y-axis. So for me, I like to erase what I had there for the pink, or in your brain, you just wipe out what you just did because this is a completely different situation here. Here I can erase the pink because it landed on top of the original, but I can just imagine the pink was never there. And here I can erase the pink. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to reflect over the y-axis. So the y-axis is going to become my mirror. And the y-axis cuts the graph into two pieces, the left and the right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what is to the left of the y-axis and reflect it over toward the right of the y-axis. So then my graph becomes this part. The left part turns into this. The right side will turn into this. Or something like that. I think it's not very symmetric, but you get the idea. So this one does not, the light blue does not land on the original. So this one is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis. If I imagine the y-axis is cutting the graph, if I take this left side and reflect it over, it lands here. And if I take what was on the right-hand side and reflect it over, it lands there. So does it land on itself? Yes, it does. So this one is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Now we move on to this one. If I take what is on the left-hand side and I reflect it over, it's going to look like this. Take this little part and reflect it over. It makes it look like a W, right? And then if I take what is on the right-hand side and I reflect it over, it's going to look like that. Okay? And does the blue land on top of the original? No, it does not. So this is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Now, I'm going to erase all the blue. In your mind, just forget everything you just did, right? Once you've already answered that question, I can't erase the blue here, but that's fine. Um, 
trying my best to erase it. I've been erasing a bunch over here. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to use green to do the origin. And what the origin is, is you do both the X and the Y axis before you compare. Okay. So what I have to do is I have to take, and it doesn't matter which one you do first. You could do the X axis first, or you could do the Y axis first. It makes no difference. Okay. Because you're going to flip it over both eventually. So I like to flip it over the X axis first and then the Y axis, but it makes no difference. So if I cut it over the x-axis, this part is going to turn into this, and this bottom part is going to turn into this, kind of like what we had there in pink, right? Because I flipped it over the x-axis. And I didn't draw it solid because I'm not done. Now that I flipped it over the x-axis, I still have to flip it over the y-axis. So here's the y-axis. I'm going to take what is on the left, and I'm going to flip it over, and now I can make it solid. And then what is on the right is going to get flipped over and it becomes this solid. So then does this green, the solid green one, because that's my finished result, my final result after both of the reflections, does that solid green graph land on the original? It does not. So this is not symmetric with respect to the origin. Now let's look at the circle. If I flip it over the x-axis, the top part becomes this part. And if I flip it over the y, the x-axis, the bottom, I get this top part. So that makes the whole complete circle. And it should be dotted, actually. But then if I flip it over the y-axis, the left dotted green line would turn over here solid. And the right dotted green line would turn over here, and it would become solid. It still lands on itself. So it is symmetric with respect to the origin. Now over here, if I flip it over the x-axis first, the top part becomes this, this top part becomes this, this bottom part flips up and it becomes this, and this bottom part flips up and it becomes that. Then if I flip it over the y-axis, so this whole left side will flip over and it will land here being a solid green line, and this right side will flip over It'll turn into this graph. And did the solid green line land on top of itself? It did. So this one is symmetric with respect to the origin. And so notice that you could have symmetry where it's not symmetric to any of them. You can have it's symmetric to all of them. You can have where it's symmetric to only one of them. And you could even have a case where it's symmetric to both, to two of them, two of them, but not all of them, okay? Um, so you really, really have to be careful with these problems because each graph is going to be unique. And so you definitely need to either envision the reflections over the certain mirrors and then the double where you have to do it over both, or you have to physically draw them on your paper so that you can compare, okay? Um, I visualize them now, but at the beginning, I would literally just sketch the graph that they gave me and then start flipping it over and doing my whole thing and then seeing if it lands on itself. So that is up to you, but each graph will be different and will have its own unique sym symmetry. So make sure that you're doing all of the mirror images and then asking yourself if they land on top of the original.